Here's how many cars Korea sells in the United States every year. 500,000. Mm -hmm. Here's how many cars we sell in Korea every year. 5,000. Why shouldn't we be worried about that imbalance? I'm not sure uh, why we should. Obviously, if the Americans want the, did, were Americans forced at gunpoint to buy these cars from Korea? Uh, clearly not. No, no. So no I problem. See, I, I don't see why third parties should, be, should concern themselves about it. Okay, you've done it again. You've batted away the question so, with, so easily that it leaves me wondering what the argument is on the other side. Why do, some why do some people worry about the trade balance then? Oh, because the argument that they're making is that uh, this is sending American jobs abroad. Now, uh, unfortunately, this, this argument was made uh, some years ago uh, in 1930. Uh, a thousand economists took out full-page page ads across the country saying, do not put up international trade restrictions. It will not increase employment. It will just set off a new round of retaliation. Uh, it was one of those wonderful things in media, like it was a bipartisan effort. The Democratic Congress went past the Smoot-Hawley tariffs, and the Republican president signed it into law. And it was one of the biggest disasters in the history of the country. Uh, at the time, this, this, this law, you know, people think that the reason for the high unemployment in the 30s was because of the stock market crash. Right. After the stock market crash, unemployment peaked at 9% for one month and started downward. It was down to 6.3% before the federal government intervened. It was only after the federal government intervened that the downward movement reversed itself and shot all up over a few years to 25%. So the people who are out there just dying for the government to come in with their solution, uh, I don't know if they have studied history or not. Mm.